from modern life is that in a soap, people still count more than technology. The only exception to this rule was Crossroads, where the telephone played a bigger part than the actors. <laughs> Perhaps because of its exquisite timing. Wanted receptionist. Oh, well, that should be helpful. Sure to. I expect the phone to start ringing any moment. <laughs> Crossroads Motel. Hello, Crossroads Motel. Oh, damn, that phone's never stopped ringing. Crossroads Motel, can I help you? Oh, I'll take it. No, certainly not. The next one you can answer, right? Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. Hello? Hello, darling. Oh, Mum, I thought it might be the engineer's phoning. I mean, you're the first. It wasn't even connected when we got here. Would you like me to answer it? Oh, no, Mr. Booth. I'm just being silly. Oh, Mrs. Hope, you have a visitor. This will be for me, lady. In Crossroads, uh, Meg Richardson's daughter, Jill, was played by Jane Rossington. Jane, in 24 years, did the phone ever stop ringing? <laughs> no, it rang all the time. Yeah. And for me, it was always, I, whenever I was on the desk and the phone rang, it, that was usually a sort of buffer, because we always had to come out on time. We didn't have any editing. So if we were running a bit uh, ahead, I, I'd just sort of say, Crossroads Motel, and they'd go off to the next scene. But if they weren't, if they needed a bit longer, the light would stay on and there'd be a floor manager going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only so much you can say about a room, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jane Rossington. <laughs> Life imitates art, and art is what a soap opera at its best.